Hymn to the Patriarchs, or of the Beginnings of the Human Race by Giacomo Leopardi Translated by Frederick Townsend Read for LibriVox.org by Roslyn Carlyle Illustrious fathers of the human race, Of you the song of your afflicted sons will chant the praise, of you more dear by far unto the great disposer of the stars who were not born to wretchedness like ours immedicable woes a life of tears the silent tomb eternal night to find more sweet by far than the ethereal light these things were not by heaven's gracious law imposed on you if ancient legends speak of sins of yours that brought calamity upon the human race and fell disease alas the sins more terrible by far committed by your children and their souls more restless and with mad ambition fixed against them roused the wrath of angry gods the hand of all sustaining nature armed by them so long neglected and despised then life became a burden and a curse and every new-born babe a thing abhorred, and hell and chaos reigned upon the earth. Thou first the day, and thou the shining lights of the revolving stars did see, the fields, and their new flocks and herds, O leader old and father of the human family, the wandering air that o'er the meadows played, when smote the rocks, and the deserted vales the torrent rustling headlong from the alps with sound till then unheard and o'er the sights of future nations noisy cities yet unknown to fame a peace profound mysterious reigned and o'er the unploughed hills in silence rose the ray of phoebus and the golden moon o world how happy in thy loneliness of crimes and of disasters ignorant oh how much wretchedness fate had in store for thy poor race unhappy father what a series vast of terrible events behold the fields scarce tilled with blood are stained a brother's blood in sudden frenzy shed and now alas first hears the gentle air the whirring of the fearful wings of death, the trembling fratricide, a fugitive, the lonely shades avoids, in every blast that sweeps the groves a voice of wrath he hears, he the first city builds, abode and realm of wasting cares, repentance desperate, heartsick and groaning, thus unites and binds together blind and sinful souls and first a refuge offers unto mutual guilt the wicked hand now scorns the crooked plough the sweat of honest labour is despised now sloth possession of the threshold takes the sluggish frames their native vigour lose the minds in hopeless indolence are sunk and slavery the crowning curse of all degrades and crushes poor humanity and thou from heaven's wrath and ocean's waves that bellowed round the cloud-capped mountain-tops the sinful brood didst save thou unto whom from the dark air and wave-encumbered hills the white dove brought the sign of hope renewed and sinking in the west the shipwrecked sun his bright rays darting through the angry clouds, the dark sky painted with the lovely bow, the race restored to earth returned begins anew, the same career of wickedness and lust, with their attendant ills, audacious man defies the threats of the avenging sea, and to new shores and to new stars repeats the same sad tale of infamy and woe and now of thee i think the just and brave the father of the faithful and the sons 
thy honoured name that bore of thee i speak whom sitting thoughtful in the noontide shade before thy humble cottage near the banks that gave thy flocks both rest and nourishment the minds ethereal of celestial guests with blessings greeted and of thee o son of wise rebecca how at eventide in aaron's valley sweet and by the well where happy swains in friendly converse met thou didst with laban's daughter fall in love love that to exile long and suffering and to the odious yoke of servitude thy patient soul a willing martyr led oh surely once for not with idle tales and shadows the aeonian song and voice of fame the eager listeners feed once was this wretched earth more friendly to our race was more beloved and dear and golden flew the days that now so laden are with care not that the milk in waves of purest white gushed from the rocks and flowed along the vales or that the tigers mingled with the sheep to the same fold were led or shepherd boys with playful wolves would frolic at the spring but of its own lot ignorant and all the sufferings that were in store devoid of care it lived a soft elusive veil of error hid the stern realities the cruel laws of heaven and of fate life glided on with cheerful hope content and tranquil sought the haven of its rest so lives in california's forests vast a happy race whose life-blood is not drained by pallid care whose limbs are not by fierce disease consumed the woods their food their homes the hollow rock the streamlet of the vale its waters furnishes and unforeseen dark death upon them steals ah how unarmed wise nature's happy votaries are ye against our impious audacity our fierce indomitable love of gain your shores your caves your quiet woods invades your minds corrupts your bodies enervates and happiness a naked fugitive before it drives to earth's remotest bounds end of poem this recording is in the public domain